There's right. a lot of threat though with a Kog'Maw Lulu, so I, I wouldn't mind it. I prefer that. There's a heck of a lot of magic damage as well when it's Kog'Maw Lulu Rise, but it is going to be the Lulution. <laughs> Genius. Oh, Uzi uh, oh the not. hook isn't going to land, but there's the double flay. Gets the flash in there as well as the ricochet's heading through. Uzi is going to be able to create enough distance. It's QG. They lose a lot of health bar, but not a life. If that hook had a landed, that was an out and out kill. It's probably time for a recall, mate. Because once again, they've pink lord this, watered this lane brush. Oh, here we go. Yeah, they've started it up against POL here, who's going to flash, but going to get stunned as well. He's and dead. Swift says, no, nah, we're going to take down the support player. There's first blood, and it goes to Uzi. Swift once again going to steal, though, as his Wayless. Lots of damage down from that Titan's Wrath. The ultimate coming in from the Death Charge manages to get the flash. There's every time to make it work, whilst V might be in some trouble. Well, there's the flash body slam. Explosive cask as well, puts the rise completely out of position. He's trying to go one for one, but it's not going to happen. Marin picks up the kill on the top lane, and meanwhile, fighting towards the bottom side. PWL not going to get stunned as the culling, going to get blocked by the spell shield for one hit, but otherwise, QG, lots of damage on the bottom side. I guess that's a light at the end of the tunnel, but I don't think you plan for your Siva to be behind. Primarily early on anyway. This has a lot of mana, which doesn't help you. As teleports are coming in, bottom out of turret. He's got looking Everyone. to fall down. Yeah, lots of people move in. Another teleport's there. Lots of poke damage as the explosive cast gets me into the wall. He's going to get deleted as the rise is not going to be part of this fight. Fantastic oh. knockup comes in. Look at the hook on a Doimby. Gets collected by both of them. And LGD, they orchestrate this early game beautifully. In and that once again, double teleport comes up. Trumps for LGD. Zimp's going to help out. Amy catches up. They are spotted out, but nothing they can do. So they can afford to be anywhere on the map right now. Controlling the situation oh, as LGD. That's... Yeah, Swift. Bit of trouble right now as Marin pops his Ghost Blade. Massive blind there as the teleport comes in. QG want to fight here as it's multiple fronts from LGD. Nice box goes down from PYL though, just to make sure he slows down the engage. Imp. Throws in some auto attacks. They found the weak point of this LGD squad. As now Amy's found his way in. Swift might be in trouble. Is off to the side. Marin able to lock down B. Has to flash out of the way at Uzi, though, who's massive in this front line. It's a brilliant Q, but that's both of them dead. And on two fronts, LGD cannot win that fight. Look. Oh, my gosh. Brilliant from Imp on the back end. So it is only a two for three. Uzi goes huge, but Imp also matches that. And now he's looking for V. Yeah, V actually... Pops the ultimate, tries to run away. The auto attack comes in, but doesn't trust the passive, doesn't want to chase him down. Wayless is actually utilizing the Zorot portal for Baron Vision. Okay, Same time. Look, Uzi's caught out. Yeah, he is. Marin actually going to come in through the backside. Uzi's trying to fight him right now, but he gets blinded and executed as the Quinn's able to pick up the kill. Now Moore, he's going to be the next option. The Vault comes in. Moore's dead as Imp picks up the kill. Two easy ones for LGD. And all of a sudden, they can turn their eyes towards Baron if they so choose. Instead, they're going to prioritize taking down structures. Oh, they got one. Yep. It, uh, Swift, sorry, has to use a safeguard. He's going to do so to get out. But Inner Turret is going to fall down. It's a portal. Actually, just going to get ignored here. By Doimby as Imp takes a lot of damage. Forced to use that flash as the box goes down from PYL. Successfully disengage. So not too worried. Myron is going back. There's a good ward, as well as all the Zerot portals, to be able to go to it. It looks like they're actually wrestling control of this. He does go to the Zerot portal. Yeah, there's the teleport in as QG might actually be corralled here. Very, very fast. Quinn's going to rocket their way in. Massive cast. That was out of control. Straight onto a player. Swift trying to dodge around. Uzi's still very strong in the back line, but more. He's going to fall down. B Uzi. has to flash. Uzi's dead. LGD all over the team fight. That's a flippin' ace, and that could potentially move in for the game. The teleport's already there from Wayless. Wayless take a bow. He plucked Uzi through everyone and was able to kill the Lucian. Secures himself the team fight, probably the inhibitor. And you know what? With 30 seconds on the next cooldown, maybe even the game. Yeah, that is 280 carries on this squad. They can tank things for days as... There's a Zerot portal, man. There's a ba banner of command and LGD. They're going to start on the Nexus turrets. We'll see whether they can make this one work. There's the banner of command. It's LGD. They're going to push through. This could be the 2-0 victory it is. against QG. And in fact, Moore's going to die one more time to pad that statistics meter. And my God, look at the smiles on LGD's face. They finally found it. I don't know what it is, but the equation is there.